All right, so up next, we got another bantamweight bout here. We got uh, Jerome Rivera coming in against the kid brother of Devison. We got Francisco Figueredo. So Jerome, the renegade Rivera, you know, he comes in with that 10 and three record. Uh, he made his UFC debut back in September after winning the Dana White Contender Series. He made that de debut against Tyson Nam, I believe, and he lost that one in the second round. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tyson Nam we'll see later in the card today, I believe, or you know, mm -hmm. next Wednesday, but we'll be touching on it later today. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, he'll be looking back, he'll be looking to bounce back off of that one. Uh, Francisco, he sports an 11-3-1 record. Uh, he's making his UFC debut next Wednesday. So, you know, really excited to see what he can do, given, you know, all the hype around his brother and stuff. So t tell me a little bit more about this one. Is, is this kid the real deal here or what? I mean, I, I'm, I'm wondering which fighter you're talking about here first. <laughs> Definitely the kid brother. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. I he's 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 not that young for one, and he's a natural flyweight in my opinion. I, I think he's he's got some bantamweight okay. experience, but I think he's he's he seems to be the structure of a flyweight. I mean, he's gonna have a huge size, you know, disadvantage here. He is the jungle fight champion, so I, I just think that in, in this fight you're gonna see a guy, you know, Dana White contenders here. There's a lot of heart in Jerome Rivera. I thought he you know a, a debut against a, a huge mma veteran that you know definitely had a bit of advantage on the strikes and drummer Rivera learned that you know what i mean i think when you look at his prior losses to guys like brandon royville roberto sanchez from lfa both of those guys are, are, are ufc fighters you know we haven't heard from sanchez since 2018 i believe yeah but i mean still like he, he's fought tough guys so i think this fight is mm -hmm. definitely going to be a bit you know tougher than people think it's going to be i think figueredo is going to have a bit of that edge to him he's going to have a championship corner right he's going to be able to use that striking speed that he's that his brother brings as well but at the same time you know rivera's not a guy to sleep on no no not at all i, I think this one's going to be a lot closer than people think mm -hmm. uh in terms of lines where do you see it landed yeah, I mean, with this one, I, again, I do think it's still kind of close. I, I think Figueroa is going to be able to kind of dictate a bit of pace if he has some early success with the strikes. But I'm going to go with Rivera being the favorite here at minus 135. Ooh, you were close, just on the wrong man. Okay. So Figueroa is actually the favorite and right around that line. It's minus 138. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's that's currently the live line as well. Mm -hmm. I would love to watch a bit more tape on him, but I honestly feel like that this is a this is a really close fight regardless. And these lines are showing that. Like I'm just trying my absolute best to kind of pick on experience here, I guess. But you know, I think you're seeing a bit of that uh, that Figueroa oomph there, in my opinion. I really do. For sure, you, you gotta know that he's gonna be a public play as well, right? And that mm -hmm. that's gonna be incorporated into the line as well. Somebody sees that last name, they're taking that for sure. And that's what I'm saying. I, I, and here's the thing. We saw Jerome Rivera's t uh, chin tested. And at the same time, like, those are things we have to worry about. You know, he has lost by finish quite a bit. So these are things that we want to kind of mm -hmm. keep in mind. And I think that's where you're seeing the lines kind of effectively take take their stand, you know. But it, it's showing a little bit less of a close fight than I thought it would be. But at the same time, like, let's watch the slide movement. I think, I think there's a chance he becomes more of a favorite. And frankly, I have no issues here kind of looking at that dog as a, as a betting sprinkling man. on Rivera. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I, I couldn't agree more. So stay tuned for that one, but let's uh, monitor line movement here and see where it ends up. That's your job. My guy. <laughs> that wraps up UFC fight Island eight, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that bell button. All our information's below Instagram, Twitter, give us a follow, like subscribe, shoot us comments whatever you need. Anything else you want to plug here, Suraj? I mean, plenty of dogs on this card, so it might not be as exciting as some of the picks that we released for the upcoming card on Saturday, but keep an eye out. This card is a lot of fun, fun, fun fights. Forget the gambling stuff. This is a very fun card to watch. You got two contenders, you know, headlining, and like Pi said, like, follow. We got plenty of MMA stuff coming out, and as always, man, it's always a pleasure, man. Love doing this shit with you. Can't wait to keep going. Likewise, brother. And yeah, like you said, man, we get this on a Wednesday. It's a real treat. We're going to have to sacrifice watching the challenge that night. But, uh, you know, we get a nice UFC treat on a Wednesday. So enjoy it. And yeah, always a pleasure, brother. My man. Take it easy. Peace. Later.